The angle up top there together is not 120, please. Please, 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 I'll make it a bit close for you to actually see what is happening. This angle, that whole thing is 100, all right? That complete angle there is 100. This much only is 20, uh, tw tw two, two zero, all right? So once you finish that, so please don't think that whole angle is 120. No, that is 100, this is 20. So if the top angle is 100 in an isosceles triangle, what do you think of those angles there? Those are the base angles and they must be equal, right? Uh, 100 goes away from 180, you are left with 80. So th those two angles must share. So that should be a 40 there and that also is 40, right? Please watch, the 40, 40 is a 80 and at the top 100, that should be 180. Now, we got unwanted angles. We did not really find B and C, but see how it help, helps us to find. Right, let's just turn the picture like this to, to see, uh, is, is there a chord? Is there a chord? Yes, there is one chord, sir, here. This chord is, is making two angles. Come on, think. This chord is making two angles, one at the top there and one here. Okay, that's one angle and that's the one angle. So your A should have been 40 again because angles made by the same chord, if not angles in the same segment. So A is a 40. This is complete thing is 100 here and that's a 20. Now we need to find C. Right. Can you concentrate on this triangle now, the green one that I'm going to hi highlight? Please watch watch that green one only do you know this angle yes that's 40 what about this angle here that's a 20 right so this is a 40 and that's a 20 you are in a triangle you know two angles you're finding the third angle the complete third angle missing one right that's a 40 that's a 20 you know what i am saying right 40 and 20 60. Take away from 180, how much you are left with? 120, right? So that whole angle should be 120, but this much is already 40. Come on, ch check there, 40, 40. So that should be an 80 here. That's how you need to find the angle, all right? Uh, we are left with a small B there. Let's see how we can do that B, right now. It's a lovely mess on this one. J just watch watch there. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. Do you agree one side is extended? One side is extended and you got exterior angle. Exterior angle equals to go inside, jump inside and look at those two. Add those two, you should get this angle please. That's a 40. This is an 80. So that should be 120. All right. That is how one needs to find the missing angles. One, it's on page eight, question number 17. There are three variables to go, X, Y, and Z, uh, we need to find, right. Uh, let's see, X, Y, and Z. Whenever you see a question like this with a four-sided closed figure, right, all that you do, make each line as a base or as a, as a chord, now this is one chord here, C, do you have two angles or three or four, fine, made by the same chord? That's a 35 there, watch. This angle is 3, 5, made by this blue chord, okay? Now, is there any other angle made by the same chord? Just check once. So, that chord, again, is making an angle at this end here, watch. So, that angle there should also be 35, right? That should be 3, 5. Again, angles made by same chord, please. Now, turn the, turn the complete circle like this, and this time, make this line as the base, okay, as the chord. Now, this chord is also making two angles. Look for them, please. Right, one is X, one is X. 
By, by the way, it's not passing through the center, please. Don't think that whole angle should be uh, 9, 0, which is not right because the line is not passing through the uh, center. So that x and that y, those are the two angles made by the same chord. But we do not know x and we do not know, uh, say, y. Okay. Now, we'll come, come back to that, right? Turn this way. So make this as the as the chord now. Let's see what happens. If that is the, is, is the chord that we are taking into account, this chord is making two angles. Check that. The same chord makes one angle here and another angle there. Okay. So that's a 55 made by the green chord and your Z also should be 55. Z comes back to 55 angles made by the same chord. Well done. Now, turn to the last one. This is the one. Now, we still need to consider that to be uh, a, a chord and see how many angles are formed by the same chord. This chord is making an angle there and an angle here also, right? That's the one and this is the one. So, those two should be equal. It's a 60 and that also should be 60, right? Now, we still have to find y and x, x please, right? So, let's go back and then think what we need to do. Now, you apply the uh, concept of triangles. It is a triangle there, right? I got one angle, which is 55. I got one more angle, which is 95. Watch there. That's a 60 and 35. Total 95. Now, triangle, you know, some of the three angles should be 180. So, 55, 35, 60, and you are actually finding that missing angle. I don't have to tell you now, right? Okay. 55 add 35 should be 90, 90 plus 60, 150, and you're left with 30. Now, are you not smiling? Once you get this x, you know that y should be the same value because they are made by the same arc, uh, so arc or, or chord, you see. So, y also should be 30. So, that's how you've got to find the missing angles. Is there a center point? Yes, that's the center point. Is there a line passing through? Yes, there is a line passing through. So we are happy immediately. We got a semicircle on that side and a semicircle on this side. Now, angle in a semicircle, we know that's going to be, come on, 90. That should be 90. Now, we, we cannot do any, anything much. Uh, say more, more than this in this case. So, consider the triangles now. Let's look at the triangle. That triangle, the high highlighted one, watch there. That triangle. What kind of a triangle is that? It's a radius. That's a radius there. This is also radius. Now, we are looking at the base angles. Well, two sides are equal. So, that's, that is an is isosceles one. If this is a 31, do you agree that angle also should be 31, right? So, we got two angles. Once again, please listen. This is an unwanted angle, but maybe it will help you to find E, right? So, let's look for E now. Uh, turn the picture like this. We have another isosceles triangle, watch there, radius and radius, okay? Do you know this angle now? Well, we know that whole thing is a 90. That's 31. How much do you think this will be? Total is 90. So, 90 minus a 30 is 60. Then you take the 1 away. That should be 59. That should be 59. Now, what do you think of this angle here? That also should be 59, right? That is one way to do it. If not, go and check, go and check this angle now, the, 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 the last and uh, final one. Let's check H. Uh, that's the angle at the center, angle at the center. Watch this arc there. This arc is making an angle at the center. 
right an angle at the center and the same arc is making an angle there so angle at the top there should be half of the angle at the center so if that's a 31 this should be 62 right that's one way to do another way do you agree this is an exterior angle for that triangle one side is extended so that should be the exterior angle exterior angle equals to jump inside add those two interior right 31 another one here same thing 62 right so there are more than one ways to actually find a missing angle